the Institute for Disability Study is one of 67 centers of excellence in developmental disability uh, across the country and territories. Of course, located here at the University of Southern Mississippi. Our center primarily focuses around four core areas. One is pre-service and training. Well, we provide trainings to students from undergraduate all the way to the graduate level, as well as professionals or uh, post-professionals uh, in a variety of topics focused on uh, assisting people with disability. Secondly, we focus around research and evaluation uh, in developing the best practices uh, based on research and, uh, and try to make sure that we add to scholarship and the field uh, in research perspective. And thirdly is around community service, which uh, here at the Institute, we are committed to making sure that we work out in the community across the state of Mississippi to provide services as well as training and research that influence all the citizens of our state. And then finally is the area of information and dissemination, identifying the best practices, uh, evidence-based be best practices that can be disseminated to communities, to neighborhoods and to our state here uh, that will help influence uh, how we serve people with disability in our state. I came to the Institute in 1992 at an offer from uh, Dr. Albert Lucas, President of the University of Southern Mississippi at that time, uh, and joined this, uh, I think, this great center and what it's contributing to um, that year as an associate director of the Institute. Two years ago, I became the Institute's executive director uh, uh, after a great legacy of Dr. Jane Siders, uh, who was the previous executive director of our Institute. And primarily my responsibility, the overall operation, daily operation of the Institute in its various sites around the state of Mississippi and providing leadership uh, as well as development work and bringing resources so we can better serve the citizens of our state. I think a center of the, like the Institute is extremely important in making sure that people with disability are included in the fabric of our society and more particularly in our communities that they live in. We know that from a variety of things that we work on uh, that we want to make sure that they have full participation and inclusion into the communities uh, across our state. We know the history uh, where people were excluded and put in institutions, put away in the darkness of our society. And we wanted to make sure that people understand that there are strategies, there are ways, and more importantly, there's the right, not a privilege, but a right for people with a disability to be treated like any other citizens in our, in our state, in our community, in our nation for that, that aspect. And so the Institute's been committed to be not only in a service role, but an advocacy role through providing services to show as well as to promote uh, the inclusion of people in the community. At the same time, the responsibility of people with disability in being treated like any other citizen, uh, striving for self-determination, self for self-sufficiency. So there's a mutual responsibility both on society as well as the person with disability. Uh, you know, it, it really, uh, here at the Institute, it is it's a mutual giving. Uh, we receive so much and learn so much from the disability community that has been able to contribute to the broader society uh, overall. But at the same time, as the Institute has provided and worked with disability, we have gotten tremendous feedback from housing and health care areas and, and education and working with early childhood and with kids from their parents and from students, former students here, how much this Institute has really impacted their lives over the years that we've been here uh, at the University of Southern Mississippi and been active in the state of Mississippi. And our impact is not limited to just the state. We've played on a national role in terms of advancing public policy that impact the country. Uh, we have led the way in the housing area, for example, uh, that other people from all over the state, and as well as some international now, are looking at what we're doing for housing for people with disability in the state of Mississippi as we work together with our other partners, both internally here at the university, but externally also across the state of Mississippi as we advance. And that's just one example of many areas that we've had significant impact and feedback from, 
from individuals with disability how we have helped change their lives. To move someone from homelessness on the streets to home ownership where they're able to provide a house for their children. To be able to grasp a part of the American dream, I think it's a tremendous uh, testimony to what this institute has done over the 35 years it's been in existing here in Mississippi. Though the Institute has contributed a great deal to this state in advancing the rights, the privileges, and services of people with disability, we still got a long way to go. I know over the next five years as we're reviewing our strategic plan, we're really going to focus on uh, four areas. One is we're going to continue to advance and build in the area of education because here at the Institute we look at education as a continuum from child care all the way to post-secondary education. The second area that we're really going to focus at on the next five years is again to enhance our effort in housing. We still got a great deal of work to go in that area. We're going to be particularly focusing around issues around discrimination of people with disability in the housing area. Uh, we'll be concentrating more on that as we continue to build the service area of home ownership as well as the country makes the shift are uh, looking more at rental situation. How do we make sure that our people vet well in that particular area also in terms of accessing permanent housing? And then thirdly, we're going to expand our efforts in health care, particularly in the area around research in health care. As the health care industry, as we look at research in health care area, we want to make sure that people with disability are not excluded as we look at where we're going as a country in terms of health care overall. Uh, that's both promotion, prevention, and care uh, around the health arena. And then finally is an area that we, uh, I think, has much been neglected in our state and in many ways in our country is around employment. How there are so many new emerging and interventions and strategies that can be utilized to help persons with disability get into the employment area. And we all know the state of the economy right now in our state as well as in our country. But these people too have much to contribute uh, to our society in terms of employment. And as we look at state plans, uh, economic development plans, and we look at strategies that have been produced by various policymakers nationally around employment issues, we want to make sure that this institute is contributing to the cutting edge of how we get people with disability into the job market also, and the supports that we can provide to help advance that particular area. Again, it goes back to the core of our mission. How do we get people with disability to be a fabric of the community? And the employment area is one of those major areas that impacts the whole facet of a family's life. Uh, so we, we're really going to push that particular new initiative area here at the Institute as we move forward over the next five years.